our oats are growing very nicely. However, we do have a few weeds that we need to take care of. But anyways, welcome back to the farm. We're in April and first things first, I want to check the use machinery. What's this? Ah, I think, yep, this is a front loader. Ooh, I was thinking of upgrading our header today, actually. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um, this is eight meters. How big is our current header? That's not it. Header. Five meters. If we sell this, that would pretty much fund this right here. I'm not gonna miss out on this deal, I don't think. That's almost double our working width. Yeah. Question is, will I need a header trailer? Uh, what's this? Mower. Header trailer. Header trailer. Let's try and find that specific one, which is this one. That's a great deal that we just got. Combination. Header trailer. Yeah, we would probably need something like this in order to transport it, which is a bit annoying. Maybe we can get around with it. Maybe we can get away with it. We'll see. Uh, but another thing that I want to buy today is in construction, and I need to find it. Aha, this right here. So, as we need to remove the weeds, we need to put on uh, crop tires on our tractor, and I find it a little bit annoying to having to go to the shop every single time. So I've installed this mod, again, link down below in the description, which is basically a mobile, or semi-mobile, I guess you can say, vehicle workshop where we can basically do a lot of this work ourselves so I'm thinking where do we place this is the question where to place this I want to place well we have our house here so I guess I guess we could make a little area over here hmm can we place it no we can't place it inside ah oh, that would have been perfect I guess we can place it over here by the side <laughs> next to the <laughs> Uh, next to the trough, or not trough, bath thing. Yeah, I think I'm gonna place it over here, but first I will have to move that trailer. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Just gonna place it right over here somewhere. That should be fine there. Right. Uh, construction, tools, vehicle workshop. Oh, it's. Oh, overlap still? So it can stand right here, but it can't fit here. Well, that's annoying. I guess we could place it back here in the back. I guess it would be out of the way. I guess we could, of course, place it this way. Yeah, I guess that would work. Sure. Why not? Alright, so we should be able to drive right up to this. And switch our tires manually which is going to be really really beneficial and cool definitely don't want the wide tires narrow tires right there free of course because we already have them and own them nice now before we do the weeding i want to take a look at a different type of machinery or equipment i should say which should be right they're a little bit more expensive than i thought I want to change my normal cultivator out for a shallow cultivator. As you can see, there's a difference. A cultivator prepares field, a shallow cultivator used for shallow cultivation or seedbed preparation of fields. I'm not going to buy that because that is 50,000 and we need that money for other things right now. But it is something that I want to do in the very near future. And just while I equip the weeder and whatnot, I want the reason why I want to change my uh, my cultivator is because I want to focus on what is called no-till farming, where basically you avoid you you try and avoid disturbing the soil the soil the soil as much as possible, which means things like cultivating and plowing. Instead, you use things like direct drilling, or which, which directly plants the seeds through. The remainders of the previous crop you can see right in here if we go to cedars if we go past to this one additionally the cedar offers the possibility to seed directly no previous cultivating or plowing is necessary um which is something i want to do now as you 
probably saw that equipment is a bit expensive, so one thing that you can do is shallow cultivating, which is still cultivating. You still want to avoid it, but it is at least better than normal cultivation because it only touches the surface. It doesn't touch uh, as far down in the soil. And no-till farming in general helps to improve things like increasing the amount of water that infiltrates into the soil. Um, Soil retention of organic matter, just to name a few, and I'm going way off here because I'm reading some notes. <laughs> uh, you can see more over on Wikipedia, which I will have linked down below in the description. But that is something I want to focus on in the future. So not only are we doing organic farming, where we don't use uh, chemicals and whatnot, but also we will be focusing on no-till farming. Now another thing to note with, for example, direct drilling is... Not only do we achieve the no-till farming thing where we don't disturb the soil, we also save a whole lot of time. <laughs> because it's, a, it's an entire step of the process that we basically get to just skip. And in no-till farming, that's also focused on things like we have already been doing, such as mulching and rolling, which then even further improves the soil in numerous ways. So yeah, I just wanted to start off the episode today in saying that. But now it is time to remove these weeds and I want to potentially farm, not farm, buy the other field that is our neighbor over here today. It should be around 50 or 49 dollars, which is not too bad actually. So I'm looking forward to that. Also it's a good thing I didn't turn this thing on by accident <laughs> and just lowered it. Um, so yeah, we will be selling our cultivator today. We will also, of course, be selling our header. So we're gonna make some... we use some money today, but we will be making some of that money back as well. I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to do this field manually, because it takes literally five minutes, if that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put a worker to do this in the other field, so I can focus on uh, moving the header, the new header, and... Again, if I had a second tractor, I would be able to do more stuff while the worker works. Uh, maybe I should have taken the tractor that was in sale in the last episode. Hmm. Well, that sale is gone now, so I can't really go back and take it, unfortunately. We just have to wait until another opportunity arises. Good morning, fella. All out for a morning walk, I see. Lovely jubbly. All right, I think one, maybe two more passes. Now I actually got reminded of this no-till farming thing, which I have been looking at before, but it was actually a comment which reminded me of this stuff. So thank you very much for all the information and everything. I have done further research as well. Um, so yeah, I just want to say a huge thank you because you left some pretty lengthy comments, which I do really appreciate. They were really helpful. But together with that, I have also been told that since we will be doing canola, Potentially having bees might be a good idea because it should potentially improve our yield. And I have honestly been thinking of doing bees regardless. Question is where we would put them while having an effect on as much, uh, as much land as possible. I don't know the range of it. And I think it's like $5,000 for one bee place, if I'm not too mistaken. Plus, we would be able to sell the honey, so that's even more money to make. I'm just going to take a look here on the map, see how far we are. Yep. Just this piece right here, then we're done. And... Perfect. I will see how expensive the bee places are. Let's head into the shop, into placeables yet again. Uh, where would it be? Production? Maybe? No. Orchards? Generators? <laughs> I doubt it. Buildings? Hmm. Of course. Animals. Bees. Okay. I don't remember having seen these before. I wonder if these are mods. Hmm. I'm not quite sure. Okay, 12,000. Wow. Beehives produ produce honey. It will be placed at centralized location, which has to be bought, blah, blah, blah. If you place beehives near fields, certain crops will also have a slightly increased yield. Nice. Okay. That's interesting. 
It's a bit expensive, unfortunately, but we could go with some of the smaller ones if we wanted to. So that's not too bad. All right, I will think about it. I am going to put this tractor to work in the other field. Then we are going to take the harvester and... Okay, I thought this was the field that we were going to buy that was <laughs> all of a sudden empty. No, this field over here is the one that I want to buy. And... Huh. I do wonder, what is the price for it again? It is fully fertilized, so they have used manure or something like that. Yeah. And what what crop is it again? Uh, Barley. Yep. I think now is as good a time as any to... Buy it. Yep. We're slowly taking over more and more land, and I absolutely love it. So this field... Now belongs to us. Barley. When will barley be ready to be harvested? Let's take a quick look. Barley. In a few months time actually. Just before, of course, just before the oats. So right around June we are going to be extremely busy harvesting barley. Next month right after harvesting the oats. Preparing, so shallow cultivating because we probably won't have enough uh, money for a uh, direct direct drill, not to mention the horsepower that we're lacking. And then seeding in the canola. Okay, the canola can wait till September, so we should be good. But we're gonna be busy. And I love it. Alright, let me put this into position. Okay then, wrong season for this work. <laughs> no kidding, you're just supposed to weed. Hmm. Well, guess I'm doing it. I'll see you when I'm done. <laughs> And done. Perfect. Nice. I'm really happy that we actually have this weeder now instead of the old one. This one is so much better because of the working width. I don't think we'll be needing this anytime soon, so it's just gonna go right in the back here. Bonk. Nice. So I think actually the first thing I'm going to do is probably going to be selling my old cultivator because... Whenever we do need to shallow cultivate in the future, I will probably just go ahead. This is the cheapest one. No, wait, this one. I'll probably just have to lease one. Which is actually not that bad of a price. Until, unless one of these get in the sale. Only issue is the horsepower. Um, hmm. I might look for a shallow cultivator mod. But now I'm in doubt whether or not I should sell that one just in case I'm not able to run the other one because leasing a tractor with that much horsepower is a bit expensive. Let's take the Valtra as an example. 5,500. Yeah. Uh, just want to quickly check the greenhouses here. Yeah, I think I think I'm going to wait 
just in case, but the, I do want to get something bigger regardless. <laughs> because, yeah, the, uh, I can open this, there we go. Yeah, water is running low, so that needs topping up today as well. Because, yeah, our current cultivator just doesn't cut it. So I think regardless, I will probably want to get something bigger. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, they are quite high horsepower requiring. We might have to upgrade our engine if we don't get a tractor by then. I'm going to sell it because I'll get something better whenever, whenever it is. Because, yeah, this is just a bit too small right now. Okay, how on earth am I going to get in here? <laughs> Theoretically, I should be able to. Hmm. I'm not really displaying my parallel parallel parking skills very well here. But I'm now taking this as a challenge. I think I got something here. Maybe. Very slowly wins the race, you know. Aha! Would you look at that? Maybe my parallel parking? That is what it's called, right? <laughs> Maybe it's not that bad after all. Hmm. Nice. Honestly, our cedar in general needs an upgrade. I wonder how much is... For a direct drill. Okay, that's a little bit less horsepower requiring, actually. Hmm. Then I might be looking into... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, this one, yeah. How much is that to lease? That's not too bad either, honestly. We have some options. Yeah, it, it's definitely time we upgrade this regardless. We now own one, two, three, four, five fields in total. Including these two that we have combined. So technically it's four. But yeah, we, we need something better than this three meter wide <laughs> cultivator. But that's for the beginners, all right? We're no longer beginners here on this farm. And even if we have to lease a high power tractor to run some of that equipment. I don't mind. We get the experience for it. Plus, the money it, it's not too expensive. So we would be able to just do some contracts or set a worker to do some contracts. And then we can cover the money that way. Anyway, let's repair it. Oh wow. That's actually not that bad. We do get extra money or more value if we go ahead and repair things and repaint it. So let's go ahead and sell it. There we go. Not bad at all, and I guess I might as well re-equip the normal tires, just while we're here. <laughs> I know I just bought the other thing, but might as well go ahead and just do it while we're here. Alright, actually, I'm going to try something. This is a self-driving feature. I want to try it, so if I take this create job it is a go-to job target position is gonna be this road here start job see you back home <laughs> because then I can hit over here nice it is going to be a bit challenging to get home with this Oh, it's actually going to be fun. We should be able to see our tractor. <laughs> we should be able to drive past our tractor. Oh, this is going to be fun. There it is. <laughs> That's our tractor driving home. That's funny. <laughs> That's actually a feature I really love. Alright, I'll meet you at the store. Alright. Three hours later, we're here. Okay, just kidding. Didn't take that long, but... Almost felt like it. This thing drives quite slow. Alright, first things first, I'm going to make sure that I can actually attach to this thing. So I'm going to detach that. Throw it on the ground. There we go. And make sure that I can actually attach to this bigger thing. I should be able to, yes? Yep. I was worried for a minute that it wouldn't do it. Nice. And I think this should work just fine. Hopefully, anyway. 
I wonder if it will struggle if I turn it on. We'll find out in due time. Throw that there, get the small one over, let's sell it. It's been good to use the small one, but like I said, we have more fields now. So we need better equipment to handle those fields. There we go. Uh, repair, repaint, yep, and so almost 20,000. Nice. Very good. All right. Now time to... I can't see where I'm going. Now time to get this monstrosity back home. Now, I should, in theory, actually have a trailer for this. But, we're just gonna say that I have special permission. <laughs> because, well... Yeah, it's right next door. It doesn't, it doesn't fill out that much. Plus, I'm not gonna be needing to transport this anywhere other than my farm. So, yeah, just gonna transport this, get home safely. Like I said, it doesn't fill that much. So, yeah. Plus, there's rarely any traffic on this road, which I do find is a shame. I do wish there was a lot more traffic on this, would make the experience driving on the road a little bit more enjoyable, but oh well. And we are back. Just gonna make sure I don't hit my sign. Oh, that's my tractor as well. Uh, not gonna lie, a bit in the way. <laughs> then again, I did order it to put it here. Yeah, final thing we're gonna do today is fill up those greenhouses. Because they need filling. And then we'll be done for the day. I think. I do want to double check the price for soybeans. I do not want to miss a good price. Just in case. Now where am I actually going to place this monstrosity? Uh, I mean, we'll need it very soon in the, in the new field. So... Yes, I can put it there or right in front of here. You know what? Hmm. I'll place the machine right here. I'll need it. I'll need it very soon. Yep. Nice. Uh, yeah, prices. Not quite there. We're in April. Best price will be in June. Uh, however, it's not too far off. But I do believe that that is the train, so yeah. Not quite there yet. We do have letters. Uh, we do have a little bit of letters. Where's the letters on this? Manual. Letters. Uh, January. April's not too bad. Uh, what's the top price? 1,900. 1,845, you know. That's not too far off. That's only $100 off. We could get like 4,000 if we sold it. Um, hmm. Or, we could, we could just wait till January next year. I think I'm just going to do that, because then we will have a lot more to sell at once, and the amount is going to be a lot bigger. So let me attach to the water tanker. I don't remember if we already have some in here. Nope. Alright. I'll see you at our usual lake. I'm very happy actually this lake is this close to our farm. Makes our job a little bit easier. I remember that before we we did purchase like a water fill point at one point. But that costed money getting water from it, so yeah, that wasn't ideal. Alright, six thousand and fifty-six leaders. I actually don't really want to drive in the bushes now, do I? So I'll give one tanker load to one greenhouse and one more to the other greenhouse and they should be good for yeah, probably a year or so. so that's gonna be good. I might actually upgrade the engine in this tractor. I do really love this tractor. I do like it a lot and I don't see myself wanting to sell it because even if I did sell it, I wouldn't get that much from it. 
this fight it does require quite a lot of maintenance. But maybe upgrading the engine would make the maintenance go down a little bit less. Do let me know if you know anything about that down below in the comments. In real life that would make sense. Because you change the whole engine out. But yeah, I don't know if that is how that works. But yeah, I do kind of want to keep this tractor because, well, it's a nice tractor. I don't actually know if the whole tank is going to fit in here. I think it is, yeah. Uh, so which one did we just give? Right, yeah, so one more full tank for the other greenhouse and we should be good. They're not going to be completely full, but that's alright. They should last for quite a bit. I think the next big purchase that I want to make will be a higher horsepowered tractor. So I will definitely be keeping an eye out in the used machinery for a higher horsepower tractor. I'm thinking 200 plus. Which is probably go going to be a bit expensive, but I think it's definitely going to be worth it because we will be able to use equipment like shallow cultivators and direct drills and things like that with a lot more ease. So I think that is going to be the, be the next big thing that we buy. And final load. I will do just double check if we have any good contracts. Bailing, no thanks, I'm good. <laughs> Plowing, sowing. Yeah, I don't think, nah, I think we're good. I think we are done for the day, ladies and gentlemen. Just noticed, very bad. Left the lights on, let me in, turn those lights off, there we go. Don't want to come down on harvest day with to an empty battery, that would be that would be horrible. <laughs> I guess the tractor can fit here now. There we go. Nice. Turn off the engine and there we go. So guys, really hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope to see you in the next one. In the next one, I think the barley is most likely going to be ready for harvest. Well, we'll be in May, but we're going to skip to, to June most likely because there won't be much to do in May. So skip it to June and then the barley will be ready for harvest so exciting and busy times ahead so hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you in the next one have a wonderful wonderful day and goodbye